Uh, hi. We need to assemble your new body with the things you collected. Just stuff all of it into the suit, the dead body. Just <laughs> stuff all of it into the suit. <laughs> okay. Alright, here, get stuffed. Mmm, delicious. It's crazy. Don't worry, it'll work. Don't worry, how do you know? Make sure it's all bunched together with the structure gel connecting all the parts. Alright, try activating the seat from the terminal again. <laughs> it's just jammed the structure gel into it. Retry. I can't believe we're doing this. It will be fine. Then why don't we put you in the suit? I was gonna suggest that if you refused. You'd go without me. I need to do this, Simon. This is important. I need to launch the Ark. You'd really do it, change body. Yes, if you want to stay here, I'm not going to stand in your way. I don't want to tell you what to do. What would be like before? Close my eyes and then... And then open them again. All right, let's do it. Thank you, Simon. Go sit what? in the pilot seat in the next room. You might need to boot it up. What if we put her in the body and we put me in the Omni tool? Why can't we do that? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna upgrade our body, guys. To uh, put this thing up. We need to loop back the activity manifested by your current Cortex chip, run it through the amplifier, feed it into the new chip, and then make sure it's synced. Just what? You lost me halfway there. You don't really need to understand it, just make them line up. Frequency 5 is too high. Oh, wait, no. Okay. No frequency. Amplitude is needs to be higher. All right, amplitude is right offset. Oh, that's maximum. All right. Frequency, no oh, close. Got it. That's everything. You can climb into the pilot seat now. Already? I have everything under control, so please, have a seat. But, if we're gonna make a copy, which Go is what this... Pilot seat. This is not a transfer, it's a copy. We're gonna get two of me in the end. Aren't we? We're just gonna read the brain from one and then put it Stop in the other. Stop messing around and sit down in the pilot seat. Alright, dude. Sorry about any discomfort, this should be over soon. It's like having your picture taken. But with the most expensive camera in the world. You know, Indians thought photos would steal their souls. In this case, they'd be right. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the other one. Oh yeah. What was that? No, I it's just Why was it still talking? It's the same like before. Catherine, why was he still talking? That's how it works, you know that. What do you mean? You know it's not magic. You were copied. The sleeping Simon in the seat was copied, and now you are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. God damn you, Kath. Two Simons? There can't be two Simons. What yes, they can. That you were going to take my mind and put it into another body, no. like a brain no, transplant. Dude. dude. I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? No, Please, it's I didn't fine. Mean to upset. How did you Why expect me to react to this shit? Please stop. You're fucking disgusting. How? That What's is the. Happen to him? He'll Nothing. sleep for a while, a few days. And then what? Wake up in this fucking nightmare again? All alone? So cruel. Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Kill Let him. him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... What if he didn't need to wake up? You'd do that? No. I don't know. Maybe. I, I don't see there. what the problem is. I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. 
I'd rather not stay plugged in any longer. I don't see what the problem of having a copy is. It's it's just the other copy of you. It's like it was it was you. I mean, or like a few minutes ago, it was you. And now there's two of you, and you can just go live separate lives now. What's wrong with that? You you live separate lives now. There's nothing wrong with that. Can we talk? Can we talk? We can't talk. Why can't we talk? Execute drain. I'm not draining his battery. We can't talk. You're fine. You, you know what? You you live your life. I'll live mine. I don't understand. Like the game or the storyteller is presenting this to us as though there's some kind of ethical dilemma. And for the life of me, I can't figure out what the dilemma is. <laughs> it's just, there's, no, there's no dilemma. There's just no dilemma. Like what is? What's what's wrong with just having two copies of you? I don't. I don't see the big deal. All right, and we're out. Maybe it's because I play video games so much. In video games, you die, you respawn, you keep going. It's like, it's not... It's not a big deal. <laughs> hey, wow, look how dark it is. That is, uh, super dark. Let me just, uh, have a look around here. This is the, the abyss. We are on the edge. I'm not sure if it really is like this. Are trenches in the ocean really just straight down? I'm not sure that they are, because the edges would just crumble in all the time. It's not straight down like this. That's not, I mean... No, this can't be correct. Because the edges would just crumble in all the time. And it wouldn't be... straight down. Wait, we have to ladder our way down. Okay, cool music, but I can't actually see anything, it's so dark. Where does this go? That's it? It's just an elevator? Oh, it's a bot outside. Hi, bot. Are we done here? Yeah. Activate the clown, please. Sure thing. Uh, passengers one. Descend. Why is my why is my camera going crazy? What am I pressing? Descend passengers one. How do I activate this thing? What on earth? Oh, sit down or I sit down? It's not moving though. All right, don't 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 sit down. Wait. <laughs> What do I press? Two? No, one passenger, what do I do? One passenger sit down. How does this work? How does this work? I don't understand how this works. Why does that go to two? Okay, I'm, I've got one. Descend, ascend, stop, descend. 
one passenger to sit down. Am I missing something? Oh, this. Found it, guys. Alright, we're, we're sitting down. The Sunlit Zone, rich in light and oxygen. Right. And I woke up in the right body. It's a redundant copy. I'll never experience my journey, the full journey. He wouldn't understand. How could he? I couldn't do it, and you knew it. You were right in trying to hide him from me. Only wish you'd done a better job. I basically flipped a coin, and if I had called the wrong side, I'd be rotting away at Omicron. I mean, there's nowhere to know, right? You didn't hit the make sure Simon wakes up in the right body switch, did you? Not that it's, you would know. I mean, it's he would you still claim to be the right Simon. There's no Christ. right. This is awful. We did an awful fucking thing. You're an idiot. And you wouldn't mind. Why would you? How could you know God. that it's not me, the me that I am, the same that I've always been? It just, you just copied your memories, Please asshole. Say something. I don't want to think. Please. God, what I don't an want idiot. To say. I don't want Tell him to he's say an idiot. You. He's an idiot. Say anything. When I was little, I used to climb the stairs all the way to the top of the building. And I could still feel how I had to, you know, tuck my arm so I could push the heavy steel door open. Well, the first time that I dared go up there, I stepped out onto the roof and watched the smog rise and fall over Taipei. I got all the way up to the corner ledge, and you know, I felt the warm wind in my hair, and the sun was setting, and the streets below were shadowed by the tall buildings. The people pushing through the crowd flowed like paint from an artist brush. Street food vendors filled the air with aromas of all my favorite foods. For a brief moment, I felt connected to the world in a way that I never had before. It was the most profound feeling of comfort and sense of belonging I could ever hope for. I really never felt the same way again, but I went up to the roof many times after. I'm not religious, but I can see why people would be. The privilege of being makes a strong case, at least every once in a while. Do you still feel that sense of awe? Even like this? Things are different, but we're still here. What's the point of going on? Everyone's gone. All the people still left are digital copies trapped in computers at the bottom of the sea. We'll never be able to rebuild or reclaim what we were. Are you really so unhappy being what you are, or is this about the man who went for a scan a hundred years ago? Both, I guess. When I was back in Toronto, even the worst case, the darkest futures I could predict, they at least included my previous life somehow. I feel so uprooted. There's nothing here that I recognize, nothing that makes me feel like I belong. Even if we make it to the Ark, would it be any different? I'd still be alone. No friends. No family. You could make new friends. I'm sure everyone would like to know the time traveler. If not, you still have... No. No, we don't have you. <laughs> I don't. I don't have you. That's so funny. Catherine. She's dead. Kath? Hello, oh, Catherine. She, what she happened? Just, she lost power. She's in the chip. She lost. Don't worry about it. She just lost power. I mean, all the, all the panic and all the ethical dilemma, comes purely out of, the fact that he's an idiot and he doesn't understand how copying your mind works. You just. There's no correct you. There's no right Simon and wrong Simon. It's just you and the other Simon. There's no right and wrong. Both of you are, are the same person, or they were a few minutes ago, but now you started becoming different people. It's... it's the, you, like When you copy something, especially a digital copy, they're identical. I mean, if you're, if you're doing a photocopy, then it's not identical. 
But if it's, a, if it's a digital copy, they're literally identical. Like if you take one file and copy it, there's no right file and wrong file. It's just two of the same file. They're both exactly the same amount of correct. And all this other stuff about oh, your past life is gone. You don't feel like you belong. You never belong anywhere. It's just a feeling. Your friends, your friends is just a feeling. They're just people. I mean, everyone likes to treat their friends special. Like, you know, they think a stranger is, is just a stranger, whereas a friend is a special person that you have a connection with. That's just the feeling in your mind. The stranger is no different from your friend, really, except that you know your friend better than you know the stranger and you feel connected to them but the feeling has no it's not an objective thing that exists outside of your mind it's just a feeling belonging is just a feeling you don't belong in Vancouver any more than you belong at the bottom of the ocean it's just wherever you are you're there that's the that's the objective reality wherever you are you are there There's so many dilemmas that people have that arise purely out of stupidity and misunderstanding and lack of awareness. All these robots, they're all people. I mean, look, imagine... Um, I mean, I don't want to... Okay. Consider people with mental illnesses. Like, consider someone with, I don't know, schizophrenia or somebody with... Or somebody who hallucinates. Imagine if, if somebody hallucinates and has visions of things that don't exist. To them, that's real. Like, that is pretty much the same as these crazy robots. These crazy robots, they're, they're driven to do things because their minds are messed up, right? Like, they're not thinking straight. I mean, if you hallucinate and you see monsters everywhere, and then you're just going to be scared all the time, and then you're going to punch people for no reason because you think they're monsters. But it's all in your perception, like, like, like your perception has been warped because your, your mind is damaged in some way. And that happens sometimes, like people, people get, get brain damage and then, and then they just see weird things. That happens. And it's not even always bad, like some people can hear colors or they can see sounds or they can you know they can smell colors because the the, the, the connections in the brain is, is a little bit off and so their senses are a little bit crossed over and and, and and kind of mixed up and that's kind of cool I mean, it's kind of confusing sometimes but it's kind of cool <laughs> that's how, just as how they perceive the world now they can smell colors or whatever it is but it's not like there's no right and wrong way of doing it as long as you can function as long as you can function, then, then everything's fine. Um, I'm gonna... Actually, I'm, okay, I'm gonna end the video here, because it's getting a bit late for me. When we come back in the next video, we are going down to the abyss. Jesus. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's because I... I think about this stuff sometimes, and therefore it's not a surprise to me. Like. What would happen if you transfer, if you copy your mind into a computer? I've already resolved that, you know, I've already thought about it. If I copy my mind into a computer, there'll be the, the human Simon, and there'll be the computer Simon. And from that point onwards, it'll be two different, two different existences. And there'll just be two different people. And I would go to the computer Simon, I'll say, hi. Hi, computer Simon, how are you doing today? And the computer Simon would tell me how he's feeling. It would just be two different people having a conversation. Like you, you, you copy it and you just become two, two divergent parts. It's not complicated. Alright, I'm out.